Next, we wish to discuss some important properties of an integral. First, the integral of a constant term. The integral of a constant term, say the integral of k dx, can be represented as the integral of k x to the 0 dx, since x to the 0 is 1. Now if we apply the power rule, we have that the integral of k x to the 0 dx is k x to the 1 over 1 plus c, or simply kx plus c. So if we consider the example the integral of 5 dx, this may be represented as the integral of 5x to the 0 dx. And then applying the power rule, we have 5x to the 1 over 1 plus c, or simply 5x plus c. Secondly, integrating sums and differences of several functions. The sum or difference of several functions is integrated by integrating each function separately. So say for instance we have the integral of f of x plus g of x dx. This may be calculated by getting the integral of f of x dx and then adding the integral of g of x dx. And finally the integral of a constant multiplied by a variable term is simply the constant multiplied by the integral of the variable term. So the integral of k f of x dx is simply k times the integral of f of x dx. Now if we consider the example the integral of 5 x to the 4 minus x over x squared dx, we can see that firstly this integral is not in its simplest form. So if we break up the fraction we have 5x to the 4 minus x over x squared equals 5x to the 4 over x squared minus x over x squared or 5x squared minus x to the minus 1. And now the integral 5x to the 4 minus x over x squared dx is 5 times x squared minus x to the minus 1 dx. And now we can split up this difference between these two functions as two separate integrals. So the integral of 5x squared dx minus the integral of x to the minus 1 dx. And finally, we can simplify the first integral as 5 times the integral of x squared dx. And so using the power rule on the first integral, we get 5x cubed over 3. And then noting that the second integral is the exception to the power rule, we have minus ln x and then plus the constant c.